happy to just come back for a few minutes to say that uh, we are happy to be a partner in sponsoring this event as the North Carolina Legislative Black Caucus, and one of our priorities is supporting uh, the eliminating the disparities in educational opportunities. And our, while the our North Carolina Legislative Black Caucus's mission is to provide a unified and empowering voice for people of color in North Carolina, uh, we believe that by so doing, we improve North Carolina for all North Carolinians. So we are uh, focused uh, in, with a laser-like precision on the disparities that affect our children of color in the state, and so much of that disparity is rooted in the disparities we face in rural education. So we are pleased and happy for you to be here. It was also important to us that we know we could come here and talk to you about education all day. And we decided we didn't really want to do that. That we wanted you to hear from those people who would be setting the agenda. We wanted you to hear the variation in points of view around some of the important policies, decisions that we face. So you would be more armed to then decide what, what path to take, what fight to fight, and what priorities to set uh, and to stand up for. I wanted to mention one thing that the Lieutenant Governor made it clear, uh, that he wasn't in support, for example, of municipal broadband. And that's a major policy dispute that we face uh, here in the General Assembly. In uh, one of my counties, uh, Wilson County, there is. The city of Wilson has a successful uh, municipal broadband system. And we, uh, I've long been a champion of municipal broadband for the municipalities and communities that want to invest in that regard. And so um, we're fighting now to, to get them uh, permission to provide that broadband in the small town of Pine Tops, for example, because they are providing it uh, in, in conjunction with electric services that they provide. And that's going to be a real fight to get them uh, to provide, to be able to provide that service that they are already providing, except for our permission. I mean, all the infrastructure and everything is there, and it's already being provided. So that is the kind of debate that we face here. I've also, we, we also uh, need, need to think about public-private partnerships uh, to provide broadband, where the community wants to invest along with the provider to get to that last mile. Uh, there is authorization, and, and we have provided legislative authorization for those kind of models. So please make sure you keep that in mind. I also want to recognize Shauna Williams, who is the research assistant for the Legislative Black Caucus. Any issues you have or if you're looking for any of us or you want something from us, she can help you if I'm not here. Congratulations and thank you to Congresswoman Clayton, who I'm her senator, so when she has this idea, that means I, go, I have to go for it. <laughs> so thank you for pushing me on this, because I was thinking, how can we do this with so much going on uh, and all of that. But this is wonderful, and I hope this is a seed and we are hoping, and others who have invested in this, are hoping that this is the beginning and we will, follow, we will have follow-up meetings to pursue the priorities and agenda that you all identify. So give us something to work with and push us and we will fight, 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 and knock at that door till we get in and get this mission accomplished. So thank you.